Gods above, you're alive. A little light, just as the day seems darkest. I'd given you up for dead at the goblin camp. I'm damn glad to be wrong. But what happened? We've seen the massing in the woods. You led the drow here? By the nine hells, why? I don't... Oh, gods. You've turned on us. Hells, why? Gods, gods, help! What have you done? Oh. Ah. way into your mind the way is clear now we can cleanse this place completely kill everyone A glorious day. The Absolute will be pleased. But there is more to be done. This place is home to druids. Root them out and kill them. Easy, you know. There's a parasite nearby. You should take a closer look. Defender of the people. What's this now? I needed. On I go. Hmm, let's see. I should take that. Thank you. 
least the last time for chatter. Praise the Absolute. She will reward us well for this exquisite carnage. The true honor is to serve the Absolute. She loves you fiercely. I see that in the strength she has given you. And she has so much more to give. There is a bond between us, true soul. I can see what you are, what you want. And you can see what I want. Through her eyes, you see yourself. Skin glistening with sweat, hands bound. Ecstasy or terror, maybe both. You feel her breath on your neck, her fingers running down your spine, and then it is over. I will come to your camp tonight. We will celebrate this victory together. As you approach your camp, the raucous celebrations have already begun. The goblins praise the Absolute, but their celebrations also honor their leaders, Minthara and you. You fought well, and so did these creatures, thanks to our leadership. When you tire of their company, come to me. Tonight, you are mine. She looks you up and down. Her mind touches yours. You feel her hand at your neck, her lips closing around yours. Are you ready to give yourself to me? Good. I will join you when you go to your bed. You are mine. True soul, sir. A present straight from the battlefield. As the symbol glows, power courses through you. Authority. Had to cut off the stiff's fingers to get it. A pleasure. My name's Ripper. Put in a good word for me at Moonrise, yeah? Buzz of celebration quiets to a soothing hum as you approach your bunk. Though you seek repose, you needn't spend the night alone. There is one who yearns for you in the dark. Who will you seek? Your heart skips a beat. What treasures might this night bestow? You are here. Good. Come with me. Now, lie down. Your obedience will make this more enjoyable for both of us. Tell me what you want. And you shall have me. As your bodies lock together, so do your minds. Her whole being is laid bare before you. And half hidden at the center of her desire, you discover something unexpected. Fear.
I would have you by my side in Menza Berenson when our work on the surface is done. Speak to me. Tell me what is in your heart. <laughs> As did I. During the battle, my mind raced. My blood burned. I was righteous. But tonight, I only heard your breath. And your voice, the absolute, was silent. And, strange to say, that brought me comfort. How is that possible? The artifact pulses softly, sending out a warning. It is a friend. dream you stand over yourself as you sleep a knife in your hand murder in your heart you are ready to strike to end your own life but then a shock runs through your mind this is no dream good you're awake I want to taste your fear. That might be, but you have not been truly tested yet. But you will be, and soon. I am curious to see if you survive. I watched over you as you slept, peaceful and silent. And I spoke to our god. I asked her why she had chosen you, made you one of her faithful, when you are so clearly broken. Beautiful, but broken. There is something missing in you. And I do not understand it. When the Absolute failed to answer me, I feared that you had somehow infected me with that same absence. And so I decided that you must die. But then, a miracle happened. As I took out my blade, her voice returned to me. And she told me what I must do to purge myself of doubt. She told me to decide your fate. To determine if you are worthy. If you are. I am to send you into her embrace, at the seat of her power. In time, I believe we may be together. Travel to Moonrise. We will meet again there, at the heart of the Absolute's power. To gather our forces in this region. They're ill-disciplined. Without a strong hand, they'll disperse. The Absolute has spoken to you already, in whispers. But at moonrise, you will be in her presence. She will test you. 
If you fail, you will break. If your faith is strong, you will become something greater than yourself. With difficulty, but I can help. The land around Moonrise is cursed. Traveling there will sap your strength and your sanity, but I can protect you. A wretched creature in my service can guide you through the curse. This harp will summon him. Play it when you are in the shadows and he will come to you and know that you are a friend. He was a drow once. Now he is an abomination, a victim of Lolth's cruelty. His minions will wait for you at the mountain pass on the threshold of the shadow curse. I warn you, he is quite mad, but he knows the path to Moonrise better than anyone. Go to him when you are ready. I will lead what remains of my forces to Moonrise ahead of you. <sighs> when we next meet, we will be together in the Absolute's presence, and she will make us her champions. Gods above, you're alive. A little light, just as the day seems darkest. I'd given you up for dead at the goblin camp. I'm damn glad to be wrong. But what happened? We've seen the massing in the woods. Truly. Hells, I didn't expect it. We were almost ready to leave. Well, there's nothing for it now. A fight it will have to be. We threw them back once. If you're with us, perhaps we can do it again. We need to thin the goblin numbers quickly if we're to have any chance of survival. Every ounce of oil that we could spare has been buried out in front of the gate. We'll blow the horn to draw them in and pray our fire arrows strike true. Your courage is catching, it seems. Or perhaps I've finally lost my reason. Make what preparations you deem necessary, and then sound the horn. Let's have this done. This is it. Everything turns on this. I know that you are all afraid. But I also know that you have been fighting your whole lives. We have never been handed the easy choices or the gentle paths. And this is no different. These creatures would take our lives, our children, our future. And we must resist! A splinter of ice works its way into your mind. A pretty speech. It almost brings a tear to my eye. Now slit his throat and open that gate. The Absolute wants all of them dead. Traitor! You think you can stand against me and the Absolute? I'll dissect you.
This is it. Everything turns on this. or the gentle paths. And this is no different. These creatures would take our lives, our children, our future, and we must resist! A splinter of ice works its way into your mind. A pretty speech. It almost brings a tear to my eye. Now slit his throat, and open that gate. The Absolute wants all of them dead. Traitor! You think you can stand against me and the Absolute? I'll dissect you. It might be useful. That's... That's the last of them. Timora, smile on me. They're dead. We did it. Watching gods, you did it. They name us outcasts, hellspawn, foul blood, but the blood of those who fell today ran as pure as any heroes. So I call us by another name. We are survivors. We are family. The road to Baldur's Gate is a long one yet. But you have earned every stride so far. Make your preparations. We leave as soon as we're able. You? I don't know if you were sent here by gods, or fate, or sheer bloody luck. I don't care. You were a friend when we needed it. And we won't forget that. Should you ever need it, you have family in Baldur's Gate. But we need not speak of departures just yet. We have time. The road is clear. And I, for one, could use a bloody drink. We'll join your camp tonight, if you'll have us. By all the watching gods, that's Halsin. He'll have some hard words for Korga, I expect. Go, speak to him. You're the reason he has a grove to return to at all. We'll be here when you're ready to travel. <laughs> 